Hello everybody, E here, uh, off camera today, because I'm going to be doing a bookshelf tour. Uh, I have, last time I did this was when I did the Stephen King shows, and then the paperbacks up there. And I'm going to be doing my regular bookshelves since I got everything, since I got everything uh, set up out here in the office. So, here we go. Uh, this is my overstock for Murakami. Those two... Uh, killing common and Tories don't, uh, they have a huge error in both of them, um, where they're missing chapters and having certain chapters repeated, and that's just an extra copy of After Dark. Here's my Polonic Overflow, my Goo Gone, my, uh, Hobbit Lord of the Rings from, like, the 1980s or 70s, something like that. I'll show you. And there's artwork from, uh, Marisha Pestle's. What, Neverworld Wake, which I hated, but I love that artwork. Um, anyways, yeah. Here's, uh, Between the Shelves. It's my, uh, Lorn poster, if it'll focus. There you go. My Nightmare Before Christmas, Pennywise. And then my Howard the Duck poster. Love Howard the Duck. We'll get into more on that in just a second. So over here we have, um, this is just some stuff that either I've read or plan on reading again soon. Uh, Zero Saints by G Gabino Iglesias. Uh, mapping the interior is the one right here. Right there. And then this is uh, The Visible Filth by Nathan Ballingrud. Hag by Kathleen Kaufman. Feast of Snakes, which is a friend. Which was a friend, yeah. It's for, uh, a gift from my friend Anthony. Uh, and then some Bukowski. And here's my uh, 11 and Demogorgon. This, the shelf's actually flipped upside down. That's how you get the bows out of them. Uh, that's what I do anyways. And so here's my Mirakami collection. Everything except for the special library and his uh, music one that he wrote with somebody else. And then over here we have the good copy of Killing Combinatory. So I have a total of three total. And then wind and pe people. <laughs> I can't talk today, y'all. Um, I'm better on camera, um, oddly enough, than I am off camera. Uh, this is wind and pinball. And then I have, this is a shot glass a friend sent me. And this is my clown jinx. And then here's my Polonic collection, mostly paperback. I have everything he's written except for his nonfiction. So that's it. All right, down here we have the we have Deadpool, we have Hannibal Lecter, we have Herman Koch, Koch, I don't know, uh, his books, The Diner, Dear Mrs. M, Dear Mr. M, and Summer House with Swimming Pool. Then we have the Border Trilogy from Cormac McCarthy, The Road, No Country for Old Men, Blood Meridian, uh, and there's paperbacks of The Crossing and All the Pretty Horses, my Laval collection. Kent Haruff collection, uh, Gun Love by Jennifer Clement, love that book, Things We Lost in the Fire, uh, Jack Jemps, The Grip of It, and My Only Wife, then we have over here, we have James Baldwin, uh, let's see here, um, what's up there, Bruckner, Hotel Du Lac, which I haven't read yet, but v Laval, Victor Laval said read it, so, Geek Love, The in Tuitionist by Colson Whitehead. Um, I need to put the Underground Railroad up here also. Uh, my Tony Morrison, Andre Dubose, Dubus, whatever the hell his name is, Jasmine Ward, and then down here I got my Good Mythical Mug thing and my Compassion Rock. Move this stuff out of the way so you can see. Oh, there's my knife that I was looking for in <laughs> the JP uh, JB Taylor mail time. This is where I put gifts from, from people. This is uh, from Wayne Finland, if you guys remember. And if you see, that's the pick. I couldn't I couldn't get the... There you go. I couldn't get this to focus on, if you guys watched that video. Um, this is the bag it came in. I'm going to have to read, uh, organize these shelves. And then the Mirror Wife. Down here we have the Ruins, the Gargoyle. Um, I have a space there because I'm currently reading um, a book off the shelf. Um, Jonathan Safran Foer, the reason why I got that one is because I'm doing the Yale course on YouTube for the, uh, 
it's a literature literature course. And then we have a good and happy child um, next to the Great Fire. Both of those, I just like the way they look on the shelf. Um, same with Landfalls. Landfalls is this one. Um, I really like that cover. I got all three of these books for a quarter a piece at the thrift store. The Hike by Drew McGarry. The Resurrectionist. The Glorious Heresies. The Sky is Yours by Chandler Clang Smith. I'm really actually looking forward to that one. And then we're getting into books I've read, which is Eleanor is Fantastic by Jason Gurley. Uh, Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. Snowbound by Blake Crouch. He's one of my favorite thriller authors. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then into some of the only sci-fi I've ever liked, enjoyed, is uh, Peter Klein's Paradox Bound, The Fold. Got The Wolf Road by Beth Lewis. Uh, we Eat Our Own. This is Shaky from <laughs> Steak and Shake. Uh, we Eat Our Own, great uh, horror novel. It's a fictionalized version of, a, what was it, Cannibal Holocaust, I think. And then Michelin, Flamethrowers, both of those were uh, charity buys also, thrift shops. Then The North Water, which is fantastic. Long Black Veil, which was written by a transgender woman, a trans woman. But it has one of the worst uh, depictions of a trans woman I've ever read. Uh, Ruby by Cynthia Bond. And down here we have, um, let's see here. We have uh, Alice Monroe, The Runaway, Monroe's The Moons of Jupiter, City of Thieves, Meg Wolitzer's Sleepwalking, Jennifer Egan, A Visit from the Goon Squad, Salman Rushdie, uh, David Foster Wallace. This is pretty much my uh, postmodern shelf, if you can't tell. Uh, I don't know if Michael Fiber, Faber, whatever the hell his name is, fits in there, but 100 Years of Solitude, some Don DeLillo, Thomas Pynchon, uh, Michael Chabon, Shaban, whatever the hell his name is, and of course, my Skeletor mug, um, Lincoln and the Bardo by George Saunders, and then my friends in collection. Yeah. Uh, down here is a layman collection I'm waiting on somebody to pay me for. i um, trying to get rid of it. But they still haven't paid for it. It might be going back up for sale here soon. Okay. Now over to the other section. Once again, the uh, bookshelf here is f uh, flipped because it's kind of bowed. <clears throat> and we have all these. There's the doctor. My two favorite doctors. We have 10 and 11. Focus. Thank you. Princess Bride playing cards. These were a gift to me. I'm a huge fan of Peanuts. The cartoons, the newspaper cartoons, all that. This shelf, I don't know what to do with yet. So, I'm going to be getting rid of this Greg Isles collection. All because of something in this book. I don't like the guy anymore. Then, uh, moving on. Let's see here. We have the girl and dragon tattoo. I'm looking for a hardcover of the second book just to finish my collection. So if anybody has it, let me know. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm having a problem. <clears throat> having a problem. <clears throat> I got something in my throat. But the farm by Tom Rob Smith. Yeah. Down here. <clears throat> I wonder if I'm getting a cold because uh, I can actually hear myself breathing, which is unfortunate. Sounds like when I was a smoker. Alright, so Jack Ketchum, uh, his, uh, his Remembrance Cup, uh, and then this ghost I got because of the betting of boys, it was inspiration. Then we have Captain Spaulding. Anyways, the books, we have, uh, Paradise, Palisade, Palisades, Park by Alan Bernert, uh, some McCammon hardcovers. This is a first edition ghost story that someone sent me just as a gift because it was one of my favorite books of all time. And I have a... I had a tragedy happen in 95 where all of my... my mother's book collection was destroyed. I was 15 at the time. We had just moved out to Alabama and Hurricane Opal came through and destroyed all of our stuff. And this is one of the books that I lost. It was one of the biggest losses. And my friend Jessica uh, sent it to me. Super, super nice person. There's the rest of my Straubs. That I have in hardcover, anyways. My Caroline Kepnes collection, which they are all signed. Let's get in here. Well, where's your signature, Caroline? There you go. Said thanks for being you. 
And then, uh, let's see here. We can go through, show each of them, since uh, I said one of them was signing. Yeah. Love and Forty, those are characters in the book. Um, and Providence, let's see here. The paperback of you is signed also. I think it's a, the show tie-in. And this one is, here's to the stones in our hearts and our sick little heads. <laughs> cool. Alright, last but not least, we'll show this one off. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to hold this one open to the... Yeah. It says, uh, you always need another copy. <laughs> so she was nice enough to sign all those for me. And then we have my Marisha Pessel collection. Don't ignore, never world break. Uh, get out of the way, Captain. Then my uh, Lauren Bukes uh, books, Bro Bo Broken Monsters and the Shining Girls. Such Small Hands is over there, too. So let's move this stuff back. We have my Donna Tart books. And my Gregor Zane picture. Uh, David Joy. There's only one of his books sitting there, and I have no idea where the rest of them are. I have all of his stuff in hardcover. Um, I'm going to have to find those. I know I'm reading one, and another one was a Book of the Month selection. My Don Winslow. Love that guy's stuff. Dan Simmons. The Abominable is terrible. Drood was great. Haven't read Fires of Eden or Children of the Night. One of my favorite thrillers of the past decade, Finds You in the Dark, by Nathan Ripley. Um, I also have his book, Curry. Eating, Reading, and Race. It's, uh, his real name is Nabin Ruth Ruthenum. Sorry. He, go he writes under Nathan Ripley, though. And then The Library of Mount Char, which is a fantastic book. Uh, Neil Gaiman's Trigger Warning. And then my Clive Barker collection, which is small but ever-growing. Cold Heart Canyon, Clive Barker, I mean, of course Clive Barker, Cold Heart Canyon, The Great and Secret Show, Scarlet Gospels, The Damnation Game, and Mr. Be Gone. Down here we have my Stephen Laws collection in paperback. We'll get to that. There's a reason why that's sitting out. We have some, uh, some Japanese crime fiction. Let's see here. Let me get this out of the way without dropping everything. Okay. I have some Japanese crime fiction and villain. Uh, now You're One of Us is horror, I believe. And then that's Strangers by Taichi Yamada. Zan Brooks, uh, The Clocks in the House All Tell Different Times. I bought that as a cover by. We have uh, Fuminori Nakamura. And then we have Yo Nezba. A bunch of his. I, not even all of his stuff is over here. And then we got some John Hart. Um, and then nonfiction. All of these books that are nonfiction here at the end are all for research for one project. You have Deep Down Dark by Hector Tabar, Slash, uh, The Beatles, Life by Keith Richards, uh, Dead Wake by Eric Larson, and Who I Am by Pete Townsend. And then we have a bunch of stuff down here I don't have a home for at the moment, which is a bunch of different stuff. Uh, yes, the floors are just... Okay, sorry about that. The, uh... The I ran out of space on my card, so we got a bunch of stuff. We got some. Uh, I can't get all the way down there, guys. I'm sorry. A bunch of different stuff. Some uh, John Green. Some more Asian lit, uh, different books like that. Some Gore Vidal. Over here is my Dan Simmons collection, and yes, the floors are just plywood. Uh, this is the office, so. But yeah, that's my, uh, that's it. Oh, and then up here we have my Howard the Duck hat, my Darkwing Duck, and my Blockbuster Video hat. We also got, down here is <laughs> Howard the Duck figure over in the corner feeling ashamed of himself because he's all alone. But yeah, so that's my, uh, that's what I have on my shelves right now. They'll probably go in and out, uh, over the next you know a few months or years it'll it'll change out as I grow to love things more as I get rid of the Greg Isles stuff of course yeah um, so that's it uh, if you have your own touring the shelves uh, video I'd love to to see it if you have pictures or an Instagram account with that stuff 
leave all that stuff down there in the doobly doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been a uh, touring the shelves part three, I think. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. -bye.